Hello, welcome to homework help for Mr. Garrett's class, Coordinate Plane Systems. I'm going to be switching back and forth between Google Docs and PowerPoint. I'm going to use the same map we used in class to kind of show you how to go about doing this. So the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to minimize this and well at some point I will bring up the the homework assignment here and kind of walk you through that a little bit more as well. Okay, so if I want to go just like we did in class, Mr. Garrett's desk to the 3D 3D printer. Printer. Okay, so I've got my starting point here, and that starting point is right here. I'm going to get a. Um, I'm going to use triangles here, so I'm going to have a triangle at my starting point, um, and I'm going to insert. So there's my starting point, and then I'm going to do another one here. I'm going to do another triangle to the ending point. Okay. So starting point is negative two, negative six. So I'd start by putting in my starting point negative two, two comma negative six, and then give myself some space here. Ending point five comma five comma five. Okay, so now I'm going to fill in the coordinates, just as we did in class. So the next coordinate, and I'm going to use um, a little circle here to mark that off. So the first one we're going to go to is right here. Okay. And then, just copy these here, control V. Next place I'm going to go is, oops, you move that, not shrink it. Next place I'm going to go is there. Okay. I'm bring in another dot here, and that dot's going to take me all the way over to here, and then I'm going to go up. So my coordinates would be negative six, comma three. So the next one would be go back to my Google Doc, negative no negative three, comma negative three, comma six. Next next coordinate would be negative three comma negative four. Negative three comma negative four. Okay. And then I'm gonna go over to five comma negative four. So next one would be five comma negative four. And then I'm gonna go up to five comma five. So that's what it should look like. That's the one we did in class today. Um, we had a few more in there, but that's kind of this is what I'm looking for. So the next one from the courtyard to computer lab. I don't have my map in front of me, but I know I'm going to go to the assignment in classroom here for you. I'm go back here and hopefully you're not getting too trying to go as fast as I can here. Okay, doesn't matter if you're in period two or five, the assignments are the same. So I give you the, so for the computer lab one, I'm just gonna highlight this to bring it out here. So we're gonna go from two, negative four, which is the courtyard, to the computer lab room 309. All right, so if I was to put this into Google Docs for you, okay, so I'd start here, start at two kind of negative, what did I have? Move this over so we can take a look at it here. Okay. So I'm starting at 2, negative 4. All right. So 2, negative 4. So then the next one I'm going to go to is I'm going to slide to the right okay, of my map, looking at that map that says courtyard. So the next one over to the right, you might go with 2, which is the x coordinate, negative 3. And you may go 2, comma, negative two. Say that takes you to the doorway. Then you can go up one, two comma negative one and continue on down. Okay. So that, I'm not gonna give you the whole answer, but hopefully that'll help you get started on the computer lab one. The next one, we're gonna go from the courtyard, and I know I'm spelling courtyard wrong. It's, I apologize, court, 
courtyard to math class. Okay, so you're going to start at the same coordinates. 2 comma negative 4. To get now, I give you some hints on this one. Or I give you some extra information on this one. If you go here to Google Classroom and you go down to the class comments, I realize on the maps you have the teachers are not the teachers are different. If you have Mr. Harlow, you're in room 301. On up to room 304 with Miss Waldman. Miss Teagues is in the other building with room 103. For the third one, social studies, if Mr. Teagues is in the other building at 305 and the other teachers are listed here. Yes, the names on the map are not correct. The room numbers are correct. Here are the room numbers. Okay, so let's say I'm going to Mr. Harlow's. Okay, so, whoops, wrong, wrong screen here. So I'm gonna go back here. So then I'm gonna go Mr. Harlow. I gotta go to the right. So I'm gonna again do two comma negative uh, two. I'm going over two. So then the next one would be I've gotta go up two comma and maybe I'm gonna go up to zero possibly that will take me to Mr. Walden or Mr. Harlow's I'm not sure and okay. if you want to do more than the ones I've listed on there that's fine so what I mean by that is if you want to do for example for the first one if I say you have to do it in five or more coordinates that would get you five points. If you want to do six coordinates or it takes you seven coordinates to get to the computer lab, that's fine. If it takes you four coordinates or more to get to your math teacher, that's fine as well. Okay, I'm going to open up the example document uh, and address A and B here. Okay, so for example, let's say you start in the courtyard but your math teacher is Mrs. Teagues. So you're going to start in I would start with my math here at negative two or two negative four. Okay. I'm going to erase these. Well, then if I'm looking at the example here, I've got to go into an entry door. Well, the exit door here, seven comma one, would also serve as my entry door. So I just go. My next coordinate would be seven comma one. That takes me across the courtyard. Then my next coordinate would be. Uh, 7 comma and let's say I want to go to the zero point and then so on and so forth until I get to Mrs. Teague's class. Okay, So that's how you could go signify going across the courtyard. Same thing for uh, let's see, let's name this Mr. Garrett lab room 127 to social studies. So again, I'm going to be starting at Mr. Garrett's room. I, I'm just going to make this up. This is not correct. But let's say if I remember my map correctly, I believe it might be 5, 6. Well, all right, so I'm going to go back here to the example one. So here I've got to go to the, I get to the stairs. So negative 3, comma negative 1 is the bottom of the stairs. So I've got to show going up the stairs. So the way I can do that is go from my entry class to 3, negative negative 3 comma negative what did I say negative 1 and then the next coordinate I would put in is the top of the stairs negative 2 comma negative 1 negative 1 or negative 1 comma negative 2 you get this one from the this one comes from the main building lower map and then this one down here I'm from the main building upper map. Okay, so hopefully this will help clear things up, give you a an idea. If you're still unclear, feel free to email me or leave a message on Google Classroom as others have done before. Good luck and happy navigating.